you want to know how to see search volume of keywords in Google Ads, it's pretty straightforward. All you're going to do is log into your Google Ads account, go over here to Tools, and then under Planning, you're going to see this Keyword Planner tool right here. From here, it's going to give you a couple different options. There's different ways to, to look at keywords, but I like to just use this Discover New Keywords option. Then you're going to need to seed it with some information. So it gives you kind of an example over here. I'm just going to put in Phoenix Plumber, hit enter, and I want to look at the whole United States. Phoenix, Arizona is a, uh, a place where there's a lot of people that come in the winter time. And so, you know, they might, people might be up north where it's cold and looking for a plumber at their home when they're not here. So because we're using the, uh, the location in the keyword itself, we can look at basically the whole United States. Anyways, from there, I'm just going to click Get Results. That's going to show us some keyword data, specifically the average monthly searches. Now, this is an account where we're not currently running any ads. Because of that, it's going to show us a rough range here. So it's going to say, you know, Phoenix Plumber gets between 1,000 and 10,000 searches per month. Well, it's really not that beneficial because it's a big difference between 1,000 and 10,000, right? Is it 2,000? Is it 1,010? Is it 9,900? I mean, that's a pretty big discrepancy there, right? That being said, if we were running some ads in the account, it would actually give us more accurate data like this. It's also going to give us a graph where we can see how this changes over time. <laughs> As I was saying, a lot of people come in in the winter, oftentimes in February, and they realize there's a lot of plumbing, plumbing problems in their home here. <laughs> and so they start calling plumbers like crazy in February, March, and April. Uh, but we can see that trend play out here. If we hover over this, we can see the volume over time. It spikes pretty dramatically in February. But it will also give us very precise data around the search volume for keywords. Now, this isn't 100% accurate. In fact, we find that they kind of underestimate things a bit. And so if it says 8,100, 8, it could be closer to like 10,000. Mm, of course, we can filter or uh, organize these by search volume. So if we want to see the keywords that have the most search volume going down to the lowest search volume, we can do that. And that's pretty much the simplest way to figure out what the search volume is for keywords. Of course, you can export this data and download these as a CSV file or Google Sheets and then do some calculations to figure out just how much search traffic is available based on the specific keywords that you want to target. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.